situated about eight miles west of New York City at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford. Today, we've got a matchup here in Pivotal Week 7 between the Indianapolis Colts and the New York Jets. Getting toward the halfway point of the NFL season, Week 7 is underway on EA Sports. This one fielded at the five. And he brings us out past the 20 to the 24. Begin things here with Gaskin. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. This defense for the Jets, they were excellent a week ago in the victory over Arizona. And I'm eager to see the game plan and try to attack them this week because when you take it away four times through interceptions, what do you do now when you go into a game? Do you decide you can't throw the ball? Do you try and run it more? Or do you tell your quarterback, make sure you see your guys open before you deliver? They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Brandon, we saw these defenders flying to the football in their win last week, and nothing has changed. They're still moving around quickly and forcing incompletions. Throwing is Allen on third. And that's going to be incomplete. The coverage too good there. The contact popped the ball free, and it's fourth down. Here's Aaron Sipos out now to punt on fourth down. Now Austin. We'll call that a punt of 54 yards. Well struck. And the Jets will take over first and 10. Here's Cook as they begin on the ground. And he stopped right at the 25 after a gain of five. He was well over 100 yards last week. He told us this week, a little ambitious, that he wants to hit that 200 mark. We'll see. Makes sense, though, doesn't it? Have we ever run into a running back that had a great game the week before that didn't think that's just going to naturally continue? Just make sure you feed me the football. And that's what they're all about. Continuity, rhythm, number of carries. Just keep giving it to him. Seven yards there and a first down. The Jets at 500 and 3-3 three and three through the season's first six weeks. And they come in feeling pretty good after back-to-back -back victories, CD. And I thought they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their resilience, all on display. In motion, left goes Boyd. They run again on first down, Cook. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. Well, it's hard to have vision as a runner and find a hole when there's nothing but defenders in your way. They stacked that one up really well. But give him credit. Instead of trying to bounce it out and turn it into a big play, which might have turned into a big loss, Kai just took his medicine there and took the one yard. That's to Dalvin Cook, his running back. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 31-yard line. On first and 10, Mills. And that one drops down incomplete. Good coverage there. Forced the ball free, and it's second down. They certainly thought he had an open look beyond the first down marker to his receiver, but they just couldn't connect, and that will send them back to the drawing board. To throw again on second down, Mills. He's going to get this one down to Cook, and they'll work this down inside the 30. Well, offensively, that's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. 
On third down, here's Mills. Out route pass complete. And it's a fumble. And the Colts pick it up. And to the 40 yard line, that's where the return stops. This drive didn't end well, but if they can keep stringing these together, they'll like what they're doing. That was an eight play drive before it ended in a fumble. So the takeaway's got to be doing what we want to do and doing it well. Just got to take care of the ball at the end. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And the defense loses him. It's complete. Touchdown. I miss that. In the well, this is exactly where I expect teams to take a shot. Right after a turnover, you count on the defense being a little bit jumbled coming out on the field, maybe catch them back on their heels. And that's exactly what they did there. They threw it downfield and really created a big play. Yeah, you said jumbled. They were the definition of jumbled defensively. One play and into the end zone. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The New York offense taken over for their next possession. And they are winners of two straight games as they've climbed back to 500 now on the season. And you and I both know that this can be a tough team to figure out sometimes because I remember a few weeks ago yeah, you and I having a conversation where we both thought that this was a season that could get away from them pretty quickly. Obviously not. He had a beat and then he was fucking bumped into him. I've seen him pull in balls like this before. But how about a little credit to the defense forcing that incompletion? An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. They'll try the middle with Cook. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Didn't try to get this there, and the Jets have a first. Following the good run by Cook, here's another first and ten. A first down throw for Mills. A hit as he throws there, incomplete. Part of what we're seeing so far is the defense is certainly coordinated. Both levels doing their jobs in tandem. The back helping the front, the front helping the back. The pressure got home on that last play and forced him to try and throw through contact and short of the sticks. To throw once more on second and ten, Mills. They'll get this complete to the Notre Dame man, Equinemius St. Brown. 23 yards the pick up there. Now from Colts territory, here's a first and 10 at the 41. Cook up the gut. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half to about the 39. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defensive front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts 28. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. play here on first down is going to go nowhere as he is tackled behind the line of scrimmage and there you go Charles a guy you liked an awful lot coming out of college I know making the stop behind the line yeah I thought he had the best instincts of any linebacker I'd seen in about the last decade crashed together with some tremendous athletic ability not bad for the first month of his NFL career Now on second and 13, Mills. That's into a crowd and intercepted. Picked up by Brandon Stevens. And a big turnover there as his guys He ran the different route. Probably back. That's my fault. The Colts thought. come to the line ready to start their next drive. They got the ball now following a big play, keeping the other guys out of the end zone. Now they'll start deep in their own territory, first and 10. Scooped up by the 
Jets. And a tough turnover there as now they will have it at the six-yard line, first and goal. And they had just picked it off to get the football. They fumble it right back. And they looked over to both sidelines. A lot of scrambling to find the helmets. Yeah, you can almost, I mean, you know both sides are screaming sudden change. Because when sudden change happens, that's a defensive call to get back out on the field. There's been a fumble, so an intercept, some type of a turnover. You've got to get back out there and play. These guys just want to get to the bench and gather themselves and regroup a little bit. Let's see if these offenses can settle in and start taking care of the ball a little bit better. Second and goal from the one. Again, it's Cook. And I don't think he got in. He did not. They mark him short of the goal line. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I hope that... And he'll get in. He's over for the touchdown. Davis Mills with touchdown number 12 on the year. And the Jets are an extra point away from drawing level. Extra point by So all even at seven now as they kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. come to the line ready to start their next drive and they of course coming into this one in the midst of a tough losing streak they did get helped out by the open week last week and in talking with them all indications were Charles but that was a very helpful break yeah I know a lot of teams coaches they hate taking time off in the midst of a losing streak because they think they have to stay on their toes and punch their way out of it but occasionally you get that open week you step back evaluate what's been going wrong See what you can put in that can move you forward. And maybe you get a chance to breathe a little bit and kind of start over. And meanwhile, Allen's throw taken in by Cooper here. And he gets this one just shy of the 40. They'll mark him down at the 39. Cooper's first catch and good for a first down. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps moving. They'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. the football put it on the carpet and it's scooped up by the Jets and he returns it into enemy territory down the 45 yard line whenever I see a team turn it over on back to back drives fumbles on their last two I know one person's blood pressure who is starting to rise and that's the head coach absolutely and when's it going to go down when they stop fumbling <laughs> <laughs> when they stop fumbling and after he's assessed the game film and only if they manage to win the game Following the fumble recovery, Mills. And he's going to lose a yard or two, taken down behind the line. Quiddy Pay getting in there and burying him behind the line. The sack cost him only a yard at second and 11. Mills now. That's complete to Justin Jefferson. And all the way in, touchdown. New York. CD, we have seen some great runs the last few times we've been together, but I think we can at least put this one in our top five. That was a determined gallop there. Fairbairn good with the extra point, and it makes the score 14 to 7. The Jets kick team out now to boot this one away. 
And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. That 7 nothing lead of theirs short-lived as they've now given up two straight touchdowns to fall behind by seven. Yeah, but no cause for discouragement here. Yeah, they've fallen behind, but haven't they proven that they can go down and score? So what was the formula to get them down there the first time? Get back to something close to that, and maybe they can get this game tied up. We've hit the two-minute mark of the second quarter, 14-7. So the big play gets him across midfield now for first and ten. Running on first down with Gasket. Give him a couple on the carry there, second and eight. You've got to be impressed by that defensive front on reps like those. They were not being moved off the line, kept their shoulders square, and gave their teammates time to fight to the ball and limit that gain. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. Okay. And a penalty flag comes in as that one winds up incomplete. But the contact is going to move the ball well downfield. So now then the penalty's got him set up with a first and goal. Gasket will try it up the middle. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. Throwing now is Allen. Caught on the slant. A touchdown saving tackle there. Now it's third and goal. Timing is so important on a route like this because he's done a lot of out right that cuts straight across the field. I think the ball might have come out a counter two too late because by the time he was able to secure it, not much of a chance to turn it upfield. Now they've gotten it to the one. Can they get that final yard here on third and goal? And they'll turn to the power game to try to get in. And he'll get into the end zone. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Xander Horvath, his third rushing touchdown of the year. And the Colts are an extra point away from tying the ball game here in the final minute of the first half. This one tied at 14 now as he sends this one away. This one fielded at the five. And he'll be brought down right on the chalk of the 20. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. And they've got just under 50 seconds, so time enough to try to work their way downfield if they so choose. Mills now looks to throw on first down. Complete to Austin here over the middle. The Jets are going to use the first of the attack. As they stop with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. A really nice gain of 25 yards. Took just one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Here's Mills. Austin is there and brings in another one. And he's able to get this to the 40-yard line before he's out of bounds. Give him back-to-back -back catches now. That one for 16 and another first down. Never make the mistake that the slot receivers, especially the little guys that we're watching here, are just quicker than fast. A lot of them combine quickness and speed, and they catch a lot of footballs as we just saw there. Mills throw here into the hands of Boyd. And he's going to have a first down here. They're also in a field goal range down at the 27-yard line. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. Mills to the air again. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Oh, out. And the Colts out will take over it. here at their own 12-yard line. Oh, that's a beautiful read there by the safety. Zone coverage. So he's just going to sit back and watch. He didn't throw far enough. He can't get beat deep because he has the end line to protect him. So he can react to everything in front of him. And he makes a great break on the football and comes down with the interception. 
Throwing to start the drive, but that went incomplete. And I can see the officials kind of looking at each other down there, silently wondering, does this meet the level of grounding? Fortunately, he did have a receiver in the area, but I have seen less obvious throwaways call this penalties. And able to get it across the 20 before they get to him. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. That's pretty much meat and potatoes right there, wasn't it? Just go right at them and let your big horse charge up the middle. Not too fancy there, was it? Nothing fancy at all challenging that defense. And on that go-around, the offense won the challenge. And he gets this to Thornton. And he's going to be out up around the 45-yard line. 23 yards on the play. A final shot before half for Allen. He'll fire deep downfield for Lamb. And this is caught inside the five. And he's in for okay. the touchdown on the final play of the first half. The prayer is answered. How did they get that done? So they grabbed the lead just before half with a clock reading 0-0-0. Zero, zero, zero. Wow. How about snatching things right at the end and grabbing a little bit of control? He what didn't get anything out, any, anything out of it. a boxer, flurrying in the last 30 seconds of a round and stealing the round. Great job. The extra point splits the uprights and the lead is now 21-14. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll get you down the coast to Orlando for Jonathan Coachman at REA Sports Halftime Report. Coach! And we welcome you back live now inside the booth alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon, set and ready to rock for the third quarter. The Jets going to get the football first, and they trail as well as we get back underway in this second half. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game plan oh, is always on point. And now he's getting the ball to the start the second half. How about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. Play fake, Mills. And his throw is going to be incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. After an incomplete pass on second down, that'll leave him trying to convert on third and nine. Looking to throw his mills. And this pass broke. You're not gonna get, wow, I'm not gonna give me five for the fifth, huh? Time there, and now fourth down. Here's the Jets punter now. As he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. They only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. Uh, It'll be 37 yards there on the punt. And the Colts will go on offense here, first and ten. Yeah, don't they give me the pass interference? The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And the points, they have come fast and furious in this quarter. You really don't want to be on the defensive side of the ball right now, do you? Because you're either thinking, my replacement may get an opportunity. Your head better be on a swivel. Totally. Or maybe I just need to get out of the game for a while because I just can't slow these guys down. They've got to figure out a way to disrupt these offenses. And typically... One guy makes a big play, and that can help change things. They'll be looking for disruption on both sides right now. That was an interesting look there, because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them, and I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. 
The Colts send out their punter as he'll kick it away for the second time. Here's Austin. Oh, no one. That'll be put in the books as a 53-yard punt. And the Jets' offense will be backed up to start this drive as they've got it first and 10. Oh, one of those guys got blocked. That's crazy. Jets offense coming up now to start their next drive. And our game's hit a little bit of a lull here, a little bit of a snag. Punts on back-to-back -back drives. And old-school coaches don't necessarily mind that. Didn't turn it over, right? Didn't create a big play for the other team. Right now, what you're looking for is can you gain an advantage in field position? And that's what both teams are seeking right now. Yeah, they'll be seeking to gain that advantage here on this drive. They go play action. Mills. And this one incomplete. Threw it down at the feet of his receiver. Well, defensively, they haven't let him just sit in the pocket and get comfortable. And that's opposite a lot of game plans in today's NFL. Ordinarily, you're trying to keep the quarterback hemmed in. In this case, they brought the heat, and if he flushes out, they're fine with that, and they force another incompletion. Working out of the gun, Mills. Swinging this out right here for Cook. And he is going to have the Jets first down. He's able to get the third down conversion. Mills on first down. Right back to Cook for another completion. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. Ten yards is the pickup. Good enough for a Jet first down. A couple of first downs right in succession. And this is an offense that can really use a good drive. And they're off to a fast start here. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and ten. On play action, Mills. Oh, the ball comes out on the hit, but they'll say it's incomplete. Offense was moving it a little bit, had them back on their heels, but they earn a brief pause by forcing the incompletion. That gives them a quick chance to regroup and try and mount a stand before they're backed up even further. Third quarter of a tight football game as we come up on a second and ten. A tenth carry in the game for Cook. And able to use his blockers to get this up over the 40. Seventh play of the drive now as they come up on a third and three. Off the play fake, Mills. Got an open man finding Jefferson. And he is going to have the Jets first down by about three yards or so as they wind up getting seven there on third and four. First down, Mills. Slant pass to Boyd. And he'll be brought down inside the 40-yard line. That was a nicely run slant route, and what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football. And, and Mills is intercepted oh, what is this game? Time. Picked off by Stephon Gilmore. And the Colts will take over possession here, up at the 44. Oh, the team a route like this. He tried to drive that football into a tight spot. And if you're a little early or a little late, chances are there's going to be someone there. And sure enough, this one's going the other way. The Colts come to the line, ready to start their next drive. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. And he goes down, but not before getting this inside the 25. 33 yards that time. But they didn't ease into that drive right out of the turnover. They go for the big shot downfield and hit it. A lot of teams have that opportunity, but not every coach is going to green light that type of a play call. I love their aggressiveness. Allen now on first down. 
can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Finally held down for the first time this game. Multiple defenders in there to drop it. They'll come up after the sack on a second and 12. To the air, Allen. That's to the right side and complete to Najoku. And he is out of bounds right around the 10-yard line. And as they come to the line, they will not be able to get off another play as time has run out on this third quarter. This is the National Football League on EA Sports. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Now this is Lamb on the end around. It'll be a pickup of eight and a good first step there with second and goal coming up. Well, they'll take that every time with a lead first down, fourth quarter, getting eight yards. You love that. They will take it. And you have to ask the defensive guys, why did you give it? I mean, you know the situation. You're down. Have to stop them. Have to get the football back. But eight yards on first down puts them back on their heels. They're held again. And do we have a goal line stand brewing? It's third and goal. Allen now on third and goal. Flushed out right. Looking end zone, but it's incomplete. They certainly did a nice job improvising there, extending the play, hoping someone would come open downfield, but they never did. So they're going for it, and here's Allen. And he takes this one in for a Colts touchdown. Josh Allen, his third touchdown of the game, number 14 on the year. And the Colts look like they're going to get back in the win column as they extend their lead here in this fourth quarter. No problem there on the extra point, and the lead now up to 14. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. This one fielded at the five. And he won't quite make it to the 25. The New York offense taking over for their next possession. As this offense takes the field again, CD, remember last drive, they were moving the football, but then they threw that costly interception, so we'll see if they can right the ship here on this drive. And doesn't that just sum up football? He's got a man complete! And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. I think he had to unload that one before he ran into. He was right up in his grill. I think he was a dentist there without a license, don't you? <laughs> Just not enough time for the play to develop. Just lucky it wasn't a fumble, really. Out route pass complete to Goddard. He'll be hit down at the 33. Five yards on the play. Third down, Dalvin Cook. And he's able to get the first here as he's taken down at the 25. So signs of life in what's been a dormant offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. That's caught. It's Austin left side. And they are able to stop it, but he does take it all the way to the two. 23 yards, the final tally. Good yardage on the completion there. And when they look at the scoreboard, they do understand. A field goal is not going to do them any good. My guess, they're going to press the ball downfield as far as possible, try and throw it into the end zone. And he is in. Touchdown, New York. Dalvin Cook 
taking it in from two yards out. And the Jets have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Extra point by Fitzgerald. Things get a little more interesting here in this fourth quarter. This game back within a touchdown now as the kickoff's away. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. After the touchdown we just saw, we have a brand new ball game. And now look at the situation. You've got plenty of time on the clock defensively. They have three timeouts, so do you run the football here or do you throw it? I think you have that full conversation with your offensive unit, and you tell them, here's the situation. They've got all their timeouts, so we are not going to play this conservatively. We've got to attack them. We've got to make them use those, gain the ground that we need in order to put this game away. If you think we're just going to run it three times and punt it, you got another thing coming. Yeah, and then, by the way, also the two-minute warning in play, so essentially four timeouts left. They have to be aggressive here fourth quarter down to the final two minutes and we've got a one score game and not totally home free yet but it's looking good as they come up first and ten on play action Allen and look at this they get the turnover they need it it's intercepted and the Jets are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38 yard line well, these defensive coaches, they sure like what they've got in this rookie corner. And with good reason, as you saw there. Yeah, they cost him a day two pick, and a lot of people thought he had first-round ability. But when he was available on draft night, that was one where you didn't need the full time to make the selection. You called that pick in early, and it shows why he was so coveted with that interception there. Jets are going to use the first of their timeouts as they get the stoppage with a little over 50 seconds left to go in the game. On second down, Cook. And he'll get it down this time to the 17. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Here's Cook again. And brought down, but not before they get it inside the 10 to the 7. A looming decision to make on the conversion down 7. But first things first, they need to score as they come up on first and goal. Now another timeout called for by the offense as the clock will stop with 18 seconds remaining. Dalvin Cook so good in the open field, but he's equally good down here near the goal line. He can find those seams and just push his way through. So he might get another chance or two to punch this one in. So the ball position now at the three. Here's second and goal. Here's Mills. And his ball is caught. It's a touchdown! And now in the final seconds, they're a PAT away from likely getting this thing to overtime. Obviously, the excitement level here is almost a fever pitch. Down one is tempting to go for two. <laughs> I say you go ahead and kick the extra point. You got the home crowd carrying it for overtime. You see some fans are holding up two fingers. Easy now. Yeah, they're not the ones who have to actually make that call, are they? So 
So right back to square one, tied at 28 as he kicks it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And Charles, obviously not much time left. I'm curious to see if there's enough for them to get into field goal range and try to win this thing. And part of you and I both know the same calls. To... It's caught inside the 25. And he's going to be out of bounds inside the 25-yard line. A big play there for Andy. 52 yards. Well, partner, I'm not sure how this drive's going to end, but how about the way they flip field position there? A nice attacking play. They picked up a heck of a chunk of yardage. So barely time to catch our breath. Here's first and 10 just outside the red zone. Off the middle, Gaskin. Two yards that time. A stark contrast from the big chunk on the previous play. And now they're going to get the timeout. A huge play. Has him in field goal range with a chance to win. And we will get a timeout with two ticks left. So now this one's going to rest on the foot of their second-year kicker. Two seconds on the clock. This for the win. And this one is right through. And the Hoosier okay. State will celebrate tonight as the Colts have won it. So this one winds up an Indianapolis victory. Charles, uh, for this losing side, their heads are hanging as they walk off the field today. And really, uh, I mean, we know why there's three turnovers on that shit. offense. That's ultimately what doomed them. And this is what coaches preach all the time to every team that we ever talk with. Taking care of the ball on offense, trying to take it away on defense. And let's face it, when you give it away three times in one game, you make it very difficult for your team to get the W. So for Indianapolis, they climb back to 500 now at three up and three down. And they'll return home next week to take on the Miami Dolphins. Meanwhile, for the Jets, they fall a game under the 500 mark at three and four through seven games. And they'll be at home next week for a date with the Seattle Seahawks.